hi everyone welcome to my channel and today i am going to show you the best way of connection of any vtx so this is my vtx eshin tx526 if you want to buy this product then there is a link in the description box below with a full review link let's get started you can see this is the connecting wire of this vtx it has some colored cable like this red one is the positive one and this black is the ground wire this yellow is the signal wire and this white is the audio wire and this black is another ground wire in my case i don't need this white audio wire and this ground wire so i isolate them with the heat shrink tube and this is my connection so for make this connection you need two things just one servo extension cable and two pin headers first i need this part of the servo extension cable so I chop it from here as you can see so I connect the red wire of the servo extension cable to the red wire of the VTX and the black wire of the servo extension cable to the black wire of the VTX and also connect two pin headers at the terminal end of this black and red wire respectively so it makes the power pass and now I can plug it to any JST port or any balance port of my any LiPo and now this will act as a power pass for your camera because this vtx does not have any power pass for the camera and for the video wire i just connect the yellow video wire of the vtx to the white signal wire of the servo extension cable and this make the video connection so when i want to plug any camera with this setup i just make sure the polarity is correct then just insert this so now this is the red wire is coming from the battery and this is the power for the camera and this this is the ground wire and this yellow one is the video wire from the camera is going to the vtx through this white wire and which is connected to the yellow wire and you can see here I connect another servo extension cable to the video wire. I do this for connecting an OSD. So when I want to connect an OSD to this, what I usually do, I just I just unplug the video wire from the camera cable like this and then insert this video wire of a camera cable to this cable so now this connection will look like this and this is the power cable for the camera and this is the power pass just connect this like that and this is the opening for connecting an OSD and assume this is an OSD header just connect it like this and your connection is done now this is is going to connect to your lipo and this is pretty much the connection so if you like this video then please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel